Hello, I'm uh, Dave Messersmith with Penn State's uh, Marcellus Education Team, and we're back again here on the, the banks of the uh, Spring Creek in Center County, and I'm with Brian Swistock. And Brian is Penn State's Water Quality Extension Specialist uh, with Penn State University. So Brian, thanks for joining me today. Thank you. Uh, the, the, clip, uh, the topic of this uh, clip is um, uh, Brian is leading a, a water testing initiative uh, a study as it relates to Marcella Shale development in Pennsylvania. So I thought I'd have Brian talk a little bit about this water testing study. Uh, and maybe Brian, first of all, if you could just give us a, a basic overview of the study. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, the, this is a team effort really. Myself and several other extension educators from around the state are looking at uh, water wells next to Marcellus drilling and we're monitoring them before, during, and after that drilling to determine if there is any impact and, and if there is maybe what caused that impact to occur. And then uh, we're going to look real broadly at a large number of wells across the state just after drilling has occurred to also just see if there were any dramatic changes in water quality. Um, and, and why is a study like this important? I mean, I would assume, right, maybe, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm mistaken, but I would assume there's been other studies like this done. There have been, and, and a couple of reasons it's important. One is that it's been one of the biggest questions we get, one of the biggest concerns, because we have over three million people in this state using water wells. They're all very concerned about what potential impact this might have on their groundwater. So just the, the large population, the concern among that group, and then also the fact that a lot of the research has been funded by one side or the other, either the drilling or the environmental side, and so it's hard to determine uh, whether those results are, are biased in any way. So we, we tried very hard to find an unbiased source of funding where we could go out and, and just do the research and report on the facts that we find. And who is funding your study? This is the Center for Rural Pennsylvania. So it is funded basically by the General Assembly, the state government. And with, with this study, you said you're going to be doing a, a, a really detailed testing on, on a specific number of wells, yeah. and then a, a larger testing across a larger number of wells. Um, is there a list of parameters that you're testing, or yes, uh, we're doing uh, we're doing two phases to the study. The intensive phase will involve roughly 50 water wells that we will monitor before, during, and after drilling for a large list of parameters that includes things like barium and chloride and methane and ethane and a lot of other inorganic organic chemicals and also organic constituents that might come from the fracking as well. Then uh, the phase two of the study will be on a larger group of wells, about 200 water wells, which we will look at after drilling has occurred for a smaller subgroup of parameters, just the, the methane, or uh, excuse me, not methane, the total dissolved solids, barium chloride, some of those uh, hallmark uh, indicators you might see from drilling. Okay, and, and looking at the time frame in the project, have you, have you started uh, your initial testing? Uh, how long do you expect the testing to, to run for? And when should we expect to see some results from your study? Yeah, we have begun identification of the 50 intensively monitored wells. We've, we've sampled about 37 of those already, so we're, we're getting down toward the end of that. And uh, drilling has started at some of those sites. So throughout the year, we'll be going back to those sites and resampling after the drilling has occurred. The, uh, the broad sampling of the 200 water wells will be this fall. So we, we anticipate that we'll be wrapping it up early in 2011 at that point.